Hello guys, before we get started, I just wanted to plug this app that I've told you guys before, UG Phone. It's a cloud phone app that you can get for the iOS, the Android, or even the PC, like me. And it allows you to pretty much farm 24-7 without degrading your device. And I personally think that it's an extremely useful app, because I use it and it has enabled me to do other things with my PC while I'm farming on Nightcrows. And yes, many of you asked before if you would get banned from using the Cloud Phone apps to launch the game, and the answer to that is no. I've used this app before, and I've been using it for quite a while now. And as you can see, my account looks perfectly fine. <laughs> it looks perfectly fine. So, you don't need to worry about that. This app is working as intended. I think it looks great, and I hope that you guys would find success in using it as well, because I think that this app is quite useful. Right, so, um, the only thing that I could say is, get your UG Phone app, while I can still give you a big PP discount. My code won't last too much longer, after all. The code and link will be on the description down below if you're looking for it. Anywho, that's it for the plug. Let's get on with the video. Daggers. Alright. Daggers is primarily a pure critical type melee class. It's got the best critical growth out of any class and is further enhanced by its passives that support the critical hit element of its skills. Now, if you see here, this class got crit, crit and crit damage as a base default. This is not in any other class, if you realize. No other class have an init crit buildup or crit growth except for this class. So this class is special in that way, right? Daggers are also often called rogues or assassins, and they do play the part. However, I think there's a lot to say about what the class could actually do. So let's answer the question, how good are daggers, actually? Let's start with the pros. The Dagger class has arguably the single most purely offensive kit. Alright? With a total of 4 skills that enhances simply just critical hits, as you can see here. Increase critical hit, increase critical hit, and there's actually quite a bit more, I forgot which one, I think it's over uh, here. This was for PvP. But yeah, that's four, all right? And three that simply enhances damage, which you can see, if I recall correctly, should be this one. Lock on, no, it's not lock on. Basic damage, and there's a, actually quite a bit more down there that enhances just damage. The Dagger class also has a bunch of extremely powerful debuffs in the form of poison that slows movement speed, which you can see over here, poison. Okay, this reduces critical hit resistance and movement speed, so it slows people down. It's a slow, and it makes them more, sus more susceptible to crits. This allows you to constantly stay on their ass, because you slow them down, and making them weaker to critical hits more often. Few of the more interesting ones that I found out about this class is its inherent ability to go invisible in the form of Shadow Curtain, which will be this one, all right? This basically makes you invis. <laughs> now, this skill is actually quite sick, as invisibles tend to be kind of broken in other MMOs. It's hard not to believe that it'll go the same way here in Nightcrows. Moreover, the class is actually built around the stealth mechanic in a way that you can refresh your invis whenever you kill an opponent. As you can see here, upon defeating other player, 
the character grants itself the stealth effect for 5 seconds and increased stats when the effect is removed. Which is a hefty 25 crit and 20 basic damage. That's insane. Alright? One of the craziest things that I saw when testing out this class on my friend's account is the disables that perfectly synergize with every single debuffs. Just from the look alone, I can tell that this class has a ton of special things up its sleeve. Now, the number one most obvious one is obviously the slow, which you can actually see on the poisons. Alright, this one gives you 40% movement speed slow, and you also have one more over here. The second one is going to be bind, in the form of dark change. This is a legendary skill, so it's going to be pretty difficult to get. However, this bind is not exactly like other ones, because you get increased damage boost rate. So you actually increase your damage, and you also reduce, you weaken an enemy's critical hit resistance. So, in retrospect, this is a pretty hefty amount. And if you put into account someone with little or no critical hit reduce investments, this skill alone, by estimation, is a 170% damage output increase per half a second. That's absolutely nuts. Now, all of this depends on obviously how lucky you are, because critical hits is still by chance, and just adding more crit simply adds the chance, or the rate of it coming out. But that's pretty much the gist of it. However, then this next skill is what truly baffles me. It's a disable called Silence. Now, like in other games, Silence is a disable that stops your target from casting spells or skills. This nail in a coffin pretty much stops almost every method of retaliation, because your enemies can't fucking use any skills, they're just stuck using auto attack. Now that is pretty fucking bad, right? So you got binded, and then so you can't move, you get slowed, so you can't run, and then you get silenced, so you can't fucking use any spells. You're stuck on just using your potions and auto attacking. Now that is pretty bad. Now, let's talk about other things. The dagger also has incredible early game, because its skills that you get early on are actually pretty fucking good. Like say, this one. Cutthroat. It inflicts damage on target with increased critical hit. So it's got very high damage because it, it increases your critical hit ratio. And it also has the poison, which you can get pretty early on as well. So your early, your early game shouldn't be much of an issue. Now, let's talk about her farming kits. The class has incredible attack speed, so it hits very fast, and due to the inner crit, it actually deals a lot of damage, which is actually quite insane. So this class actually farms very quickly. And from a lot of sources that I see from my friends that are playing on the Korean server, they did tell me that this class is arguably one of the best farmer in the game. So that's you can take their word for it. Now, for class matchups, this class excels in blowing up soft classes that couldn't run away from you. Classes like, say, the, the bows, the mages, or the clerics. Alright, let's summarize all this. This assassin is built with a ton of critical and bonus damage. It can poison you, giving you crit, giving you crit weakness, binds you so you can't move, and silences you on the process so you can't fight back. And the worst about the worst part about this is that you can't ever see it coming as she has stealth and so she's invisible. So all this could happen in an instant and without warning. An absolutely insane class, probably built to kill pretty much players. But well, as beautiful as this waltz is, the cons are honestly quite terrible too. The dagger class 
is the softest melee class. As you can see here, very low vitality. It's got terrible vitality. Very, very bad. Alright, only 23. And this is its final ascension. <laughs> it's, it's a very soft class, guys. It's very, very soft. Moreover, it's got absolutely no defensive kit. As you can see here, everything is just damage, 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 or whatever that actually adds that damage. Like the silence, it, it's not exactly damage, but it's it enables more damage to be pumped in. You feel me? So this class is just purely attack. There is absolutely no defensive kit whatsoever that's worth mentioning, aside from like the basic starting passives, like say physical reinforcement, which is like four defense. That's about it. Alright, to add further, this class has terrible attack range. From just the start of the testing alone, I can already tell that this class got the absolute worst attack range out of any class. Yes, worse than even the Twin Sword. Like, this is attack range here. You see that? There is a gap between me and the target. I have to stand, like, over here when I'm using the daggers. The attack range is absolutely terrible. It's actually so bad. It's not it's not a joke. All right? It's not a joke. So, if your invisible plays did not go as planned and it goes on cooldown at the wrong time, you'd be so easily kited around and die a quick and painful pathetic death. And with absolutely no bulk you will die in seconds, for sure. Now, the final bit would probably be something that I only realized after a long period of testing in between different level mobs and remote PvP with a friend in which I was able to see the damage that I'm dealing to him. The dagger, in spite of having huge amounts of crit growth and crit damage growth and crit scaling pretty much on, on its skills, it's actually got a very terrible basic damage. If you see here, its basic damage is absolutely terrible. Comparing it to say, the bow which has like 23, this only has 15. Comparing it to like the wizard, has 20. So this actually has terrible base, base power, the base attack is, is terrible. So you kind of don't have a choice, you have to land your crit, you have to get lucky with crits, or you'll have no damage. That's literally how bad it is, okay? So if you're against like classes with like a ton of like crit reduce, like or, or blocks, it's gonna be pretty bad, because this class doesn't have pierce at all. It doesn't have pierce. I actually looked very far trying to look at maybe it's got some additional weapon elements once it's once you level up your weapon proficiency and all that. But it turns out it just doesn't. It just doesn't have any peers. So if you get if you're fighting like say knights or twin swords, it's gonna be quite hard to deal with. Alright? Now, it's got terrible base attack. So yeah. This thing has the base power just as bad as a twin sword. It's equally as bad. So you need to land those crits. Otherwise, it's boo-boo. Okay? To summarize, this class is very soft. As you can see. If your stealth isn't executed perfectly, or you get into a sticky situation like being surrounded by players, well, you will just explode and die. So, yeah. Classes that has innate crit resist or a ton of guard will be a problem, so try to avoid classes like, say, knights. This is gonna be the bane of your existence, has a ton of block and so much fucking reduce. You can't kill this thing, so don't even bother trying. Alright? Classes like the knight or twin swords could be a bad match. For the daggers so if you're a dagger don't do it just run away from those people you get the hunters instead 
you get the bows, you get the mages, you get the clerics. Forget about this one. You're not going to win. So just 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 leave. Unless you're a whale. If you're a whale then fuck it. All right? All right. Now that's pretty much all that I got for you guys today about the daggers. Do I think that the class is good? Well, yes. I think that the dagger is a classic assassin class on MMOs. And if anyone were to play this, I'm sure you'd have a pretty good time. The class has a ton of ups and very little downs, making it a good class compared to some others. Mm -hmm. I think the skill is interesting. I think it's also quite flashy. There's just one downside that's pretty fatal for me. The default boob size is the smallest. It's not big, guys. It's just the armor. <laughs> and I can't change that. So... Yeah. I'm not playing this. <laughs> and that's it! What do you guys think about the dagger class? Let me know what you think on the comment section down below. And let me know what class I should do next. I'm only planning on making two more Night Crows videos before I move on to a different game. So please do make it count. And that's it for me. And I'll see you guys again on the next one. This is your Uncle Bigfish. Have a nice day. Bye.